welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today in this video i'm going to be discussing everything you need to know to start your own youtube channel because i have received quite a few questions uh, from some of you guys asking me uh, could i give some tips and what does one need to start a successful youtube channel now the tips that i'm going to be letting you know here are some that have worked for me and i'm also going to be <coughs> excuse me i'm also going to be mentioning some apps and uh, devices that you need to actually start your entry level youtube channel in 2020 so if you want to find out all of this information Keep on watching but please make sure that you are subscribed and that you click the bell notification icon so that you can get notified every time i post a new video also make sure that you check me out on my socials i'm at pilelg and at the end of this video i will also be mentioning my giveaway winner so stay tuned for that but let's get started okay so the very first tip that I have to start your own YouTube channel in 2020 is firstly think about what do you want your channel to focus on um, do as much research as you can on that subject is it an area that is fully saturated or is it an undiscovered area or whatever the case may be so um, some people have cooking channels others have tech channels video games etc so being on youtube does not only mean doing videos about fashion and beauty but there are also so many other areas that you could focus on and focusing on a subject area that you are passionate about and that you know information about and that you know that people will want to know more information about is definitely key the second thing um, that I would say that you, you should definitely consider is that you should believe in yourself and you should definitely be 100% your most authentic self. Do not try to replicate someone else because people can see right through that and also there's only one of you and that is your own superpower and people want to get to know you. So just do you and do you and do you in the most authentic self don't try to be something that you're not um so if maybe you are someone who likes to speak their own uh, vernacular home language then sure do that because there aren't really any people who are doing that uh, also don't feel pressured to conform to what other youtubers are doing or other social media influencers are doing so be your most authentic self the third tip that i have uh, which is gonna seem so corny is that when you do start your youtube channel you have to be consistent and it should be content that you enjoy viewing yourself so I'm going to talk about when I started my YouTube channel. At first I was so embarrassed because I had such little views. I'd get like maybe 50 or 60 views and I'd feel so embarrassed to promote it because I was like, oh, my views are so low and blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, I realized that having pride and chasing a dream is something that does not go together so you need to be 100 percent unashamed of your content and it should be content that you also enjoy consuming so with that don't be scared to venture out into something that people don't necessarily understand or don't be afraid of people who will be laughing at you because at first they'll be laughing at you and then when you win they'll be asking you how did you actually do it so produce content that you enjoy doing and that you would view even if you were not the person who was actually doing it if that makes the next tip that i have is that you need to be very very consistent in the content that you're producing so the quality the quantity the frequency 
everything about your channel should be consistent you shouldn't be someone who uploads let's say once in two weeks or once a month because with youtube there's so much content out there you need to be 100 percent consistent if you want your channel to be something that will grow that will have a loyal audience and most of all that will provide value uh, right now starting your channel in 2020 can be something that can seem da daunting because of how many other youtubers there are and starting with a small channel can also be quite intimidating and discouraging but again this is something that you need to believe in first and foremost before anyone else believes in so you have to be consistent um if you can upload two videos a day then that would be absolutely amazing because uh, it shows that you want to provide value to your audience and that you actually take them seriously because there's nothing worse like having a youtuber that you absolutely love and then you feel like they're not giving you the value or the content that you want and it just seems like they're doing the bare minimum type of thing uh, so you definitely don't want to come across that and also you need to respect your audience you need to respect their time so when you are putting out a video it should be something that will provide value for them whether you are providing information on whatever subject that you're doing or it's just funny videos or whatever the case may be respect your audience because they have a wide variety of choice and they chose you out of it also i'm really really sorry about the drilling it's been going on the whole day and i've tried to wait it out but it's getting dark now because it's a really cloudy day definitely definitely respect your audience and most of all produce quality content people want to see that you have put some thought into it um you value their time and also it wasn't like a last minute project you know what i'm saying so definitely provide value and provide quality content now i'm not saying that you should have like a full-on studio setup whatever the case may be start with whatever you can and grow from there so for me when i started my channel i was recording my videos with my iphone the iphone that i'm currently using right now and it's an iphone 6s but i quickly realized that i was really really unhappy with it and i got my camera which is the one that i use right now and that is the canon 2000d the lens that i use is an 18 to 55 mil uh but when i started although i didn't have a camera uh my audience understood that i was still a very 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 small youtuber and i was starting out so nobody was expecting miracles from me however i showed that i wanted to do this and honestly you guys were so patient with me i think if you go back to like my first videos you'll see that it was recorded with my phone and i tried to make it as good as it possibly as i possibly could and then eventually grew into this camera so <clears throat> providing quality content is something that will help your youtube channel to grow and to stand out from the rest because honestly nobody wants to watch grainy videos at all now what i want to dive into is some of the things that you will need to actually have a channel first thing is that you need a camera now this doesn't have to be a full-on camera like this one these days the smartphones that we have have such amazing cameras so if you choose to invest maybe in the latest iphone which has three cameras or like um the new samsung phones that also have three cameras or whatever the case may be those are really really quite good and sometimes you can't even tell whether it's a camera or it's a phone so whatever you decide just make sure that you invest into a good device that will take your videos for you second thing that you need is, so you need a laptop this is for editing uh uploading your videos uh, managing your channel you can also do this from your phone but i would honestly 
advice and a laptop it just makes your life so much easier and it's definitely faster so after you have a laptop you also need to invest into an editing software the one that i personally use is filmora uh, however when i started i was using imovies which is free uh, it comes with an iphone so you don't necessarily have to spend on buying uh, an editing software because i know that those can be quite costly uh, so you can start with something that is an entry level like imovies also it's really really easy to use um, other editing softwares that are available out there uh, something like final cut pro that you have to buy at the app store however it can be quite expensive i think it's 3500 and also i think you can only use it if you have a macbook so there are quite a few editing softwares that are available it's just up to your discretion what do you find easier to use and what is your personal preference now as i mentioned i use filmora uh, so i'm sure that as an aspiring as an aspiring youtuber you want to get to a point where you can monetize your videos so if you use copyright protected music for instance if you use a song from beyonce in your video or it's playing in the background whatever the case may be you cannot monetize that video because um you will have a copyright claim now as a youtuber you will get to learn about these things because uh youtube has a channel called youtube creators and it gives you all the tips and tricks and gives you much much more in-depth detailed information about what i'm talking about and will help you understand exactly how does youtube work so my bonus okay guys so the winner for my thousand sappies giveaway is Sne Nambiti. <laughs> Congratulations and thank you so much for your support. I chose this particular lady because she has always always supported me from when my channel was still a little little baby channel and she always comments and she's always active so i really really appreciate that so make sure that you also stay active and i'm pretty sure that i will be doing another giveaway very very soon um, hey guys so future me right here i realized that the awesome things that i forgot to mention in the video um and i also wanted to show you the actual care package because uh, i realized that I've been beating about the bush. I've been beating around the bush about it for a while. Uh, but first, I wanted to say um, I realized that a lot of clips got uh, deleted during the whole editing and filming process. There's some things that I mentioned that didn't make it because my camera tends to stop recording after a while and I only find that out. Um, once i'm editing uh, but i wanted to say if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to do a part two on this video with more information also let me know and then maybe i could just pile up your questions and answer them of this video but i also wanted to say a big big thank you for all your support and congratulations again to Sne Nambiti for winning the care package i wanted to curate something that would help with relaxing and just make you feel pampered and appreciated so i'm gonna show that to you just now and um please contact me so that i can post the package to you pronto okay so here it is so right here i got this lovely lovely uh, bath set from also oh heavenly it includes a body wash a hand cream which i think we all definitely need right now with all the sanitizing we've been doing as well as a body lotion and a loofah mint and it's all in this really really cute pink box and then right here we have we have this 
beautiful cup which says empowered women empower women and i think this is so so essential and resonates with me it resonated with me so much i mean also have a pair of earrings from h&m because i've been enjoying these so much i thought you guys would also like them and also have a face mask from roy boys um this face mask has shea butter and it helps soften skin and hydrate skin so definitely big thumbs up as well as a lipstick and some delicious marshmallows uh so yeah so also these earrings but i hope you enjoy this cute little self-care package so you could run yourself a bubble bath and have some tea and mask please don't mind my nails they're so ghetto and just enjoy your sunday so snare please make sure that you dm me your details and i can send it to you pronto uh, thank you so much everyone for the love thank you for sharing uh, my videos and yeah i hope you subscribed and i will see you next time bye